Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I've got another bow to show you. Yeah, I think you'll be a little bit surprised, but once I explain it, I hope it all makes sense. I will. Here it is. Ain't she a beauty? Not really, huh? I mean, the bow looks more like a sausage than a real bow, but that's not the point. This bow, unlike most of the others that I make, is going to die. This bow is going to either explode, collapse, hopefully repeatedly, or something bad is going to happen to it. And that's why it exists. Ta-da! This is a test bow. What we're going to do is we're going to string it up and draw it until it explodes. We want to see exactly what the angle is at the handle where the stresses will be most acute. Once it explodes, then we'll be able to calculate the strain on the PVC. This isn't perfect. There are better. There might be better ways to do this, but it'll be interesting. And we'll get to have a little bit of fun. Hopefully, I won't put one through my garage door. I don't think I will. So let's take a bowstring. You don't get much more crude than this, and the sad thing is the bow will probably function. Not many times, but a few times. Yeah. Right off the get-go, yeah, there's a little twist, but okay, nothing to speak of. The bow wants to shed the string, and that's something. Isn't that funny? Okay. We can twist it back into conformity. What a beauty. What a beauty. <laughs> okay. So let's get this sucker on there and uh, do some damage. So currently it's bracing almost at 8 inches. This is the same string that I use on most of my U3 curves. So clearly, you'd need a, a longer string for this style of bow if for some reason you really wanted to use it. Or even if you just left it more or less straight. Okay. On and drawn. Maybe I should get some safety gear on. Hopefully I'm standing far enough back that I won't hurt myself. I'm just going to trust in that. I'm going to try and stay out of the way of the bow. Well, bam. It actually made it to a full 28 inch draw. I can guarantee you it's going to have a set. This is going to look like an Egyptian style bow now. But, that wasn't the goal. The goal was to see if we could not cause permanent deformation, which is interesting, but to see if we could cause failure. That was to draw to 28 inches. By the way, the bow is drawing 46, 47 pounds at 28 inches. 29, 30, just for kicks. Let's take this off and see what's happened to the bow. Nothing unusual, nothing that we didn't already know was going to happen. That's a pretty substantial set of a few inches that will rob you of a lot of performance. There's definitely no inclination to twisting now. Alright. Let's go ahead and pair 32 inches, say? Let's push our luck. There's 
no way. This thing can go much longer. I mean, I can't draw it any farther. That's it. I'm done. I would have to build a new jig if I wanted to draw it farther than 32 inches. Well, heck, I didn't expect that. I was really fairly confident that we would destroy the boat. In a way, we have, because this is never going to function as a boat. We also have an idea of the angle that it's at now. I'll be able to measure that. But unfortunately, due to the high level of uh, plastic deformation, the non-recoverable, I mean, two kinds of deformation. There's plastic and the elastic. Elastic's like a rubber band. It bounces back. Inelastic, and it's permanently moved out of shape. Or, I'm sorry, plastic or inelastic, and it's permanently moved out of shape like the handle has been. So now, the handle is permanently longer, more stretched and thinner than the, the bottom, which is compressed. But I'm not seeing failures on either side. That's incredible in and of itself. Uh, well, I'm going to have to devise another way of testing to see if we can shatter a PVC pipe. I think we can if we try hard enough. If we put our minds to just about anything, we can do it. Thanks for watching, YouTube.